Nancy. Uh, sir. Hi, Nancy. Thank you for your speech today. I personally have not had the opportunity to read the latest Toastmaster magazine to find out about these great presentation tips. So I appreciate you bringing that to the club. I know one of your objectives was to be able to provide us how to better use slides using the article from Toastmasters. And I thought that you were able to achieve that. What I where I thought you excelled was where you excel always is in your delivery. You're really good at your vocal variety, your tones, your gestures, and there's a sense of euphoria in any topic that you present. And again, this is a great topic. For those in Toastmasters, we should be reading the Toastmaster magazine. And if we're not, then we should be finding other ways to enhance our public speaking skills. So bringing that relevant information to all of us allowed us to appreciate the speech that you gave. My favorite example of what you presented was talking about the animation and how you flip one slide to another. It kind of reminded me of this book that my, or these books that my son reads, it's called Captain Underpants. And in there they have two pages and they have this thing where it's called a flipperama. And actually I read his books because it's fun just flipping the slides in between. So kind of reminded me of that and it got me excited <laughs> of how maybe that's something that I can do in one of my presentations. Now some of the things that I think you I would have liked to have seen is maybe a summary of what were the five points in the Toastmaster article. So I know you touched you touched on several of them, but maybe even just saying one, two, three, so we could follow along on where you were in your speech. Because without that, I felt a little rushed when you got to the summary because you finished your content and then you kind of reverberate or reiterated it all really quickly at the end. I thought you did a really good job providing examples with the usage of how PowerPoint can power your point. But I also thought that there was a large number of slides that you kind of rushed through. So maybe you would think of how you can narrow it down a little bit more so that we can grasp on to some of the key takeaways. To challenge yourself, I would recommend thinking about how you can get the audience more involved. I felt like as presenters, we all have the same thing, even just asking how many people have seen this kind of issue before or something along those lines would help to engage the audience more than just through your delivery. But overall, I thought it was a great speech and you definitely met your objectives. And I think you gave us plenty of suggestions on how we can better use slides in our speeches and presentations. Thank you.